and hello YouTube, this is GS Man Smart. Now we're turning our brand new video for tutorials with GS. Today's tutorial we're working with Adobe After Effects and we're showing you how to create some dynamic 3D shadows and this tutorial can pretty much work for whether you're working with text, whether you're working with objects or anything really in After Effects, the, the, the effects and the steps pretty much go for anything and you can apply them to several different things that you're doing but today we're going to be working with text and we're going to be working with just an image in the background but like I said what you could do is a video too and you can make some really cool stuff but I just, I'm just here to show you the mechanics behind it and to give you the tools so let's go ahead and get started I'm going to be getting an image actually that I have on my desktop there it is and once you've imported your image, we're going to go ahead and create a new composition. It can be any size really, but we're going to go ahead and make it 1280 by 720. Any background color is fine too. And we're just going to adjust it a little bit here, scale it like that. That should be fine. So, we're going to be using a uh, picture of a road here, and our goal is to basically have text. Basically, it seems like the text is coming up and down the road, and we're going to have some dynamic shadows behind it as well. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a new layer, and it's going to be a solid layer. You can go ahead and make it white. And after that, you want to make it a 3D layer. You can do that by pressing uh, the little cube down here. Underneath it, you can just click it, and it will turn it into a 3D layer. And the next thing you want to do is go ahead and click the little, the little arrow here, the little arrow here, and it will twirl down some options. Go to Transform, and I believe it's, is it X Rotation? Yes, it's X Rotation. So what you want to do with the X rotation, the second number here, you want to rotate it so that it's laying flat. And you will notice when it's flat, when the white is gone like that. And then you want to go ahead and just move it down so it's laying flat like that. And it's actually moved all the way down. Oops. Don't want to move your picture layer. So let me actually close this menu. And let's just move it all the way down like that. Now, what we want to do is we want to align this with the road. Now, with this picture, it's pretty easy to align it, but whenever you may have another type of image, for example, if you have a road that's, you know, going sideways or going forking off to the left, or if you want to do this like with an office setting where you have a hallway in the office and it's kind of diagonal maybe, you may have to play around with the solid a little more. So you don't want to go ahead and if you have to move your solid layer you know, a little more, you don't want to move it like that because we want to keep it flat on the floor. So what you want to do is go ahead and create another layer. And instead of creating another solid, we're going to go ahead and create a camera this time. And the 24 should be fine go ahead and click OK on that and then on your camera you want to go ahead and click up here and use your orbit camera tool and the goal is to basically line it up with the street sort of doesn't need to be perfect, but the more accurate, the better. And that looks, that looks good right around there. And then you want to go back to your white solid. And if you're having trouble accomplishing this, what you can do to make it a little easier is you can go up to effect on your solid. You can go down to generate you can go to grid and sometimes that makes it a little easier however um, this can be 
a little misleading sometimes depending on your picture so if it helps you keep the grid on if not you, know, you can work with just a solid here so as we have it lined up we're gonna go ahead and scale up this layer now you could use a scale right here or you can just simply drag it out like so and that should be fine now the, once again depending on your picture you may have to scale it more to the left or to the right but in our situation we just need to scale it we just need to scale it like that and then we can go ahead and move it down the road like so oops we don't want to move it up we just want to move it down the road so like that once again it doesn't need to go all the way down and if you need to realign your solid a little bit, you can do so as well. Now, next thing we're going to do is going to go and add some text. We're going to grab our horizontal type tool. And we're going to type something along the lines of happiness. Because why not? And you want to go ahead and make this layer also 3D. If you want to change the font, you can do so. Now, with here, you want to go ahead and switch your camera to something maybe along the lines of left mode. And then go ahead and grab your text right here. And what you want to do is you want to line it up. You want to line your text up. Move it down. And line it up right on top of this red line here, which is basically your floor. If you need to zoom in, you can do so. We're going to zoom in just to make sure it's good. Then we can go ahead and go back to our active camera. And we're going to zoom back out. And we're going to go ahead and make a new light layer this time. We're going to go ahead and grab 75% intensity. You want to have cast shadows on. And as for the light, for the light, you want to pick something that's relatively something that relatively fits your environment um, for this picture maybe a little more difficult but we're gonna go ahead and grab our color picker tool here and we're just gonna get a light from these rocks here like right around that and you can go ahead and click OK now on your text you want to go and twirl this menu down, go to Material Options, and for here you want to have Cast Shadows to On, and for Accept Lights you want to turn this off, and then we're going to go ahead and go to our Floor Layer. Which is our White Solid. And same thing, we want to go on to Material Options, and for Accept Lights we want to turn this off. And what we also want to do is we want to go ahead and give this white solid a transfer mode of multiply. Now, if you don't have the uh, transfer mode options available, you can simply just press F4 and it'll switch between your uh, switches and between your modes. So we're going to go ahead and give this transfer mode a multiply. Where's multiply? Here it is. And that will make our uh, the white go away. But our floor will still be there, though. So here we can already see that our text is uh, giving some shadow off. But we're going to go into our light settings and twirl on the menu again. Go into light options and find the option. What's it called again? Shadow diffusion. And just go ahead and raise this a bit. And this gives it a little better of a shadow there. And now we're going to go ahead and go back to our text layer we can untwirl this go to our text layer and we're just gonna bring it closer to the camera a bit and as you see we're now getting this cool shadow depending on uh, where we place this text obviously if we move it higher then and you see uh, if you move it off of the uh, text layer off of the 3d space it's gonna go away but if we were to go ahead and bring this down a bit, like so, 
we see we get a cool shadow already. Once again, if you go to your camera mode, you can also... Your camera tool up here, the... The orbit camera, you can also change... The way your text is being looked at. So, the next thing we want to do is we want to go to our light layer again. Now we can also move our light over here, depending on where you want it. Um, but we want to have it... And you may need to play around with this a little bit. We want to have our light coming from right around, right around here, right? I mean, it's going to be shining down on the text. The sun, let's say, say the sun is up here, right? So after that, we can go ahead and also make it look like our text is coming from the road. Right, right, like coming down from the road, and to do that, we're just gonna go ahead and move it a little further away from the camera, and go to our camera. No, I don't want to bring up options, and we can just have it like that. Then go to our text again and move it to the left a bit and let's just scale it up some like so move it down a bit we don't want the shadow too big and then we're just gonna go ahead and move it like that Gonna scale it a bit like so. You know, just uh, you know, play around with it. But no matter what you change on this text, you're basically gonna get this cool uh, 3D dynamic shadow. And we can even duplicate this layer. So we have another word. We can change this text as well to love, perhaps. And as you can see, it also generates shadows. But we can even have a second word like love. And then, depending on how we move our word, the shadow will also follow. So it's a neat little a neat little trick you can do with anything really whether you want to have it with text and if you move if you move your word higher in the 3d space your shadow will obviously uh, get affected as well but you could do several neat things with this you know you can e you can even animate your text then I mean we could have our if we wanted to we, we could really have our text like you know come from down the road to up here and we would do that with just um, animating the position of our text but animation is a completely different no another topic if you want to learn about animation though I do have a tutorial on animation and I'll have that linked on the screen right now though there will also be a, a link in the description and an annotation also a card at the top right corner that's basically it that's basically it so hopefully you learned something um, you know, hopefully you've learned how to use the tools that I've given you. It's really only the camera and the light and messing around the text a little bit and just getting it right. Um, you can do some really neat things with this. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, definitely leave it in the uh, comments section below and I'll try my best to answer them. If you have a specific question on After Effects on how to do something, if, you're, if you want to learn how to do something specific, if it's if it's a video worthy topic that it's if it's a very big question I could probably create a video for you about it but um you know we're coming out with more after effects tutorials in the future and I'll see you guys next time
Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos, so if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too, really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone, and this is GS Man Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.